This is great. This is an important question right here. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. One of you is going to get it. Here we go. All right, here's your last passage. Both riches and honor come Madison. First Thessalonians 4, verses 13 through 18. Sorry, that is incorrect. For the rest of you, Bethany. Oh, First Chronicles 29, 10 through 13. That is correct. Please recite it. First Chronicles 29, 10 through 13. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation, and David said, Blessed be thou. Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Thine, O oh Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord. And thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all. And in thine hand is power and might, and in thine hand it is to make great, and to give strength unto all. Now therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. First Chronicles 29, 10 through 13. Bethany, bring us into your heart and mind. What was going on there? I just realized how powerful and in control God is and how everything is just because of Him and He's so great and amazing. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the way the Word of God should impact us. Praise God. That's awesome. That's what this is all about. You know, there's two different ways that we come to know the Word of God. One is intellectually, that's with our mind, and the other is experientially with our heart. What you just did right there was experienced God's Word in your life. You were living from the inside out. We didn't get a chance to see what was going on in your head. We got a chance to see what was inside your heart. Right. And that's what God wants more than anything, and that's what makes a testimony Amen. right there, is that we're living from the inside out. You see, all religions have two things in common. There's belief and there's behavior. Hmm. But we're not about a religion, we're about a relationship. And we still have belief, our belief about God, and it affects our behavior, but there's a really fascinating thing that happens between those two, it's called become. We believe in Jesus Christ, we become God's son, and now on the basis of who we are inside, we behave. We don't have to try to act like God. We don't have to try to act like Jesus. We just simply let his love rest in our heart and then it comes out. Right. Just like we saw it come out right there, Bethany. Amen. I'm proud of you. I am really proud of Amen. you. That was awesome. That was awesome.